And whosoever feareth the most high to you is the word of this salvation sin. They didn't say to eat them. They said to who you the world. That's, that's okay, a, so that's a heavy that, scripture. But that's easy. This is easy peasy, man. He's addressing Israelites there because that's who he's around. But see, but hold up. If you're gonna play that, if you're gonna go there, if you're gonna do that, you gotta be consistent, don't you? So let's go to a different passage because I'm gonna show you how you're not dealing with the scripture faithfully. Acts. Chapter 17. Are you ready? Are you ready? Verse 22. Paul, standing in the midst of the area, said, Men of Athens, I perceive that in every way you are very religious. For as I pass along and observe the objects of your worship, I found also an altar with this inscription to the unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it, being Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in temples made by man, nor is he served by human hands, as though he needed anything, since he himself gives to all mankind life and breath and everything. And he made from one man every nation of mankind to live on all the face of the earth, having determined a lot of periods and the boundaries of the dwelling place, and that they should seek God, and the hope that they might feel their way toward him and find him. Yet he is not actually far from us. But where, so where he's talking about the offspring of Adam there. So who's he dealing with? The world, not just that big Israelites. You want to say over here, oh, this just means Israel. But when you get to Acts 17, you want to flip it. But where in that scripture though did it say the whole nations can be saved? Uh, it right said here, hold up, hold up, right here, where it says he determined their nations, the places they would dwell and live, and then he says that they should seek God, seek God in the look, hope that look, they might feel their way toward him. I got it. He is actually not far from me. But what does Isaiah 2 say? Okay, so see, you're not dealing with Paul right now. I got one for you, Acts 3 right here. But you can't have the Bible contradict itself. Listen, listen, listen. Because in the kingdom of heaven, all nations are going to bow down to the Lord, bro. And they're going to keep the Lord. Well, that's true. And they're going to keep the law. And, and they all going to get their fair piece of the pie, bro. Acts 2 and 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation out under heaven. Out of every heaven. nation. Right, like so the Spartans and the Jews and brothers. That's one good example. Oh, wait, nobody, we have proof. Nobody denies that there's it, there are Israelites scattered abroad. That's not even a question. So where are they at? That's not even a question. Where are they? Well, for the most part, still scattered abroad, but a lot of where them are they? a lot of them went back. Where back them, where? Where are they? They went all they're all over and they're still all over, but a lot of them went back to the Middle East. What scripture says that? In the Middle East. Wait, wait. See now hold up. Now you you dealing with something. No, no. You first you have to be a question that's not strictly a scriptural question. Because you said where are they at? That's dealt with not just the Bible, but history, larger history. So I'm answering you from that perspective. And they, they got scattered. This that's is so easy. See, give it a let me give you an example. Ethnic Yemeni Jews. They a lot of them went into Israel now. You're saying those There's are a few left. Have you ever seen them? They don't look like your white guys. I'm sure a lot of them could be Jake. They don't look like Israel. Uh, they don't look like you know. They don't look like Listen, Larry David. The Israelites are more numerous than the stars of heaven. More numerous than the sands of the sea. How well? What are you talking about? By belief in Christ. No. That's how. The book of Hosea says that. All right. Oh, the book of, you know Hosea, right? Yes. You know, do I need to get it? Here's the passage I was going to read. Yeah. Actually, I mean, Deuteronomy 30. Hosea, he was a Spanish prophet. It's a joke, man. Galatians chapter 3. He was, though, because the, the, uh, those are Israelites. Galatians chapter 3. Know then that it is those of faith who are the sons of Abraham. Of faith, that's just, Israel. And the scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles Go down. by faith, preach the gospel before and to Abraham, saying, And you shall all the nations be blessed. Go down. So then, those who are of faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. Go to, go to verse 23. That's Go to right verse 23. That's what I just read that one. Go to verse 23. Let me see. You tripping. I think it's 23. No, it's not. Right there. Before a trip. about that? No, I said something about the seed. Oh, I know. I know. He's even better in real life. Out. It's somewhere. I got to get it myself. Hold up. I'm going to get it again. I'm going to get it again. Because I just read that. For real, though, how do you guys for real deal with this? That's to the what point. What you mean? Deal with what? Where it says, those who are of faith are the sons of Abraham. Will you tell him that Israel is the most numerous people? Oh, yeah. But we, we, like I said, right, Israel, all of Israel don't even look like Israelites. 
No. Hey, you gotta keep reading. It says C. You keep reading that same chapter. The same chapter. It says C. Right, but you. Okay. And I said it says C, not two C. It says one C. You gotta look. Right. Stock of Abraham. Right. Keep reading. Go ahead. Keep reading it. Find it. This issue. It's somewhere. I'm gonna find it. I just read it earlier today, dude. Right. 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 It's it not always mean that physical way. It means now you're making it, it from. Now you're no, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. Now Ready? Jesus Christ is the son of David. Right? That's Yet terrible. not descended from, He's from physically from Joseph. Yes, he did. Ah, oh, well, see, that's where you guys got problems. Man, this is you deny the virgin conception. Oh, man, ain't no virgin birth, man. Come oh, on. Well, how do oh, you explain man. Acts 2? And it said he's from the fruit of David's loins. How do you explain when it says... I have never known a woman. That's a stomach. Oh, I've never that. known a man. That's a stomach bug. I'm not getting into that. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not important. I'm gonna do that next time. Since you love Paul so bug. much, you love. Paul. I didn't go to Paul. I no, went to I'm, Luke for exactly, that one. Exactly, because you can't. I went to Luke for that one. You can't. I'll do Paul. Galatians 4:4. 4, 4. When the point of time was right, born under the law, under woman. That's Galatians 4:4. Talk, that's talking about just as every other man was. Exactly. 316. But, exactly. But why does it mention woman, not man? Because he came That's out of a hit towards the virgin birth. Because when, you, when you're born, you come out of a woman. C, okay, it's C. Because right he said, right, according Genesis, to the law. Genesis 3, so, according to the law, the law. <laughs> Genesis 3.15. It's a bad angle, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. Genesis 3.15, yo. Wait, 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 you can say what you said. Let me finish it. Sure. Galatians 3, same chapter you read, 3.16. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promise made. He saith not to seeds as of many, but as one, and to thy seed, which is your shot. Alright. So wait, wait, wait. He said this Are you saying that that deals with the fact that Mary says, I've never known a man? No, I was answering your question before. Or, okay, or... Okay, Look, so back to that. That's Paul, Paul never mentioned the virgin birth. Okay? Galatians he, he mentioned the, the resurrection multiple times. Because that was miraculous. So the virgin birth was so miraculous when you keep repeating that too? Okay, okay. Does Paul mention everything in Jesus' life? Well, look, when I get he doesn't that. even mention the raising of Lazarus. The other gospels don't. Which is more miraculous? Well, he did mention the raising of the dead, though. Yes. Oh, I got a scripture for you. But see, that, that, that's not a good argument. That's what's called an argument for no, it's not. Just because Paul won't mention about it, that doesn't mean there's that it There's multiple. Happen, and he does in Galatians 4.4 4 anyway. All biblical scholars, a lot of people always debate over the virgin birth, and many will tell you. Yeah, the liberals. Then a lot, no, a lot of them will tell you it was not part of the original doctrine. No, 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 no. That's you, liberal scholarship. No, now y'all dip it into that German no, higher criticism. Let me read this. When it suits you, fans. Let me read this. Hebrews 3. Let me oh, write this go fast real quick. Come on, bro. That's safe. Hebrews 3 and 16. For barely, talking about Yahweh Shai, he took not on him the nature of angels, which angels read Matthew, angels, the scripture says angels don't have sex, right? You agree about that? Yes. Okay. Well, he took on him the seed of Abraham. Who took on the seed of Abraham? He took on himself the seed of Abraham. You said Hebrews 3 16? No, Hebrews 3 16. Alright, the hell with the virgin birth. Listen to this. Well, no, it's relevant because it shows you can be called son of without being direct physical descendant. Okay, let's just, again, let's just say you're right, again. Are we not adopted? That's, dude, that's, he's not literally going to dude. No, no, that's, not, I, that's I'm not, the adoption, that's, that proves the point. That's the time we went off What does adoption mean? No, 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 See, that's not what adoption is. Adoption ain't prodigal son business. Adoption is you are not mine, I make you mine. We believe in predestination. But you believe in adoption? Of course. Okay. But, but we, so then, how does this you, this this narrative you got of only ethnic Israelites match with the narrative in the scripture, which is adopted as sons? Who though? did he give the right to become the sons of God? John one. All who believe in him. That matches up with Galatians four perfectly. Do it ain't just Pauline. Do all believe? No. So where's okay. all the Israelites so in the church? It's only the elect. Where's all these Israelites well, in the church? They are there, the but there's, where? A, there's where? a temporary Show me. blindness. Show me well, let's go to Romans at? nine. Then. Let's go to Romans <laughs> nine. I just met one too. The Show last me month on the May. earth. No, in May I met with a man wait, named Ruth hey, oh, from hold Israel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We had a conversation. They, they should be the leaders of the church. Where are they at? Oh no, no, no. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Because they are They're not out there. Let's do that. Check this out. I got a question for you guys. What are the two places in the Bible? Let's just name the books. We won't even do the exact chapter, all right? Okay, what are the exact one? Well, that's the biblical question. Where the leadership requirements are given for the early church. There's two places, two books. First Timothy and Titus. What are the two titles? Bishops or elders and deacons. Let me ask you this. Are any of the qualifications based upon your ethnic lineage? Of course it is. Where? 
Matthew 15 and 24. Ah, you just said the requirements are 1 Timothy and Titus. Then when I said where are the requirements, you went to Matthew 15. Show me the Lord in 1 Timothy and Titus red letters, where it says, red and thou shalt not be an Israelite. Let me precept, give you the proof precept, that it's precept, not. Precept, because precept, precept. Titus, right? Let's do precept to precept. Titus, where does it start? It says, I left you in Crete to set in order, but it not been in order, right? What are you Remember about? that? In the book of Titus, don't y'all read? Come on, man. Titus 1, I left you in Crete to set in order, but not been in order. Okay, to do what? Point? Appoint elders in every city. What is your now point? check it out. He gives a requirements for elders. None of them have to do with, you gotta be in it, you gotta be a Jake, you gotta be Israelite. Because it's Number already one. known. Number two, Titus himself was a Greek. It's already known. Wasn't even circumcised. The Greeks are Israelites. Wasn't even circumcised, my Neither man. It was the Northern Kingdom. I'm not circumcised. Oh, they don't no, say that. that. It says he's a Greek who was uncircumcised. But, but, but the Greeks, that we already read it. We proved Pete that the Greeks were Israelites. What's the word Greek mean? Pete Gang. What's the Greek mean? Uh, Helen. Uh, oh. It has different Wait, definitions. Yeah, yeah Hellenistas. What's a Hellenistas? That's different than Greek. What is it? No, what is no, it? No, 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 no. Greek is one thing. Hellenista is another term. No, that, that, that Hellenist and Hellenista is two. Yes. And, and that you means, look that, at that any, means Hellenized. And any that means Hellenized Jew. Exactly. But Greek uh, don't mean that. Uh, uh, no, yes, says, it does. No, no, no. Look it up. Look at Romans, uh, Romans two. I believe. No, no, no. I'm gonna show you what's going on. I'm gonna show you what's going on. Wait, wait. Before, you're before you like how I bring out my dictionary with me. Before, before notice, notice that. though. I, before I go here. Everyone should understand. We already read proof. You to did not show me how there's any requirement given for church leadership that says you got to be an Israelite. Because that's a given. In fact, I showed you how it's Titus. A, it's a given. Oh, it's such a given. Why well, don't I say it? And it says it all through the Bible. In fact, Titus. In every oh, really? Page. Okay, let me do this thing. Let me do this thing. You say it's a given, right? Jethro. Obviously. Jethro. Okay. Come on. Israelite. <laughs> Bro, let that. Wait, wait. What? He's a Midianite. No, he's a, he was from he's, he's like, his, he was from the fucking land. Where did it say he was in Israelite? Obviously, it tells Yo, you. Moses' his wife wasn't right. even in Israelite. Listen, so, How's the pops so, gonna be in Israelite? It doesn't matter about what his wife is. He can, you can take a, you can take a, a, a he I know, but when is that's her dad. He ain't no Israelite. What? But you you, you too busy examining the flesh. Jethro was not an Israelite. So he you're was a from that land. You're a carnal yes, man. But where's the things in Israelite? Where were all the Israelites at the time? They're in captivity. How's it going to be free running around? Let me read a scripture. Let me read a scripture. Let me get this. Jethro instructed Moses on how to deal with legal matters in Israel. So leadership has never just been for Israelites. You're either Hittite or well, not an Israelite. And yet he's in a certain sect of leadership. It doesn't matter. It's good. Let's My point is, though, you guys are saying stuff that can't be shown from the scripture. I'm going to show you. Show me where it Dude, says you've got to be an Israelite to be leadership. I'm going to show you. Why, are you going, why, are you, why aren't you going to Timothy and Titus? That's where the requirements are given. They so all Israelites. Did Paul just forget it in Timothy and Titus? He slipped his mind? Didn't the Lord say, I come in the volume of the book and it's written of me? What are you talking about, bro? Did they even go from Isaiah and from, from the book of Malachi? All them okay, this is simple. Deuteronomy? Did ancient yes, Israel no. have elders and deacons? Yeah. They didn't even have the office of deacon. So how can the requirements... You just read it. You just, no, you just, you just quoted in the New Testament, about. I thought ancient Israel. First century is not ancient Israel. So we're going to talk about leaders, right? So I'm asking you, how are you going to go to the leaders. Old Testament to try to prove I go you've got to be an Israelite when that office hadn't even existed yet? All right, listen, listen. It's like having job qualifications for a job that doesn't exist. All right, I'm not, so you've got to go to the New Covenant. I got it right here. You. Red letters. Let's get to red. All right. The blood, the blood, you're the, telling me Jesus is going to say the blood of the Lord. you've got to be an Israelite to be a leader in my church? Matthew 19 and 28. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in a regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay. So that's it right there. I got you. You're gonna judge Israel. You're gonna be the leaders of Israel. It's all about Israel. Okay. So, Revelation 7. Well, fact, let me read this first. Revela uh, Romans 11 and 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. That is written. Now, you believe that that the Lord forsook and what, the, the, what, is it, what they say? That the Lord forsook in Israel and then came unto a new people. And now you got like the spiritual Israelites. Yeah. So all the spiritual Israelites. Like, yeah. What does this say? Israel's a church. And so all Israel yes. shall be saved. And it is written, they shall come out of Zion to deliver and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Turn ungodliness away from Jacob. Did it say turn ungodliness away from Esau? I don't know. I don't read anything. You got a trick Bible. Where do you get this Bible? Where you get I'm going to check my Bible. See what my Bible says. I don't know what. Yeah. Bible is this? Oh, Both have know the truth. 
Even you. Hey, they sent him down here. Who sent you, bro? Hey, dude, I grew up here. I'm in the oh, you, where are you from? I'm from the South Side. I went to Marion Franklin. I graduated Marion Franklin. That's the problem. You went to Marion Franklin. Probably. Actually. It explains it all. You guys know where Marion is? Southfield? I grew up on the South Side. I graduated from South. Yeah, so that's the rival from South Side. Well, a lot of people say that. People live there. But I grew up on the South Side. So That's I've been here. In fact, the way I first heard right. of this so whole thing to was from New your man going into churches, churches in the middle of service. Right. My man said, hey, these dudes right. coming in no, and store no, churches no. See, in the middle of service. You know anything no, about them? Let's go down here. And that was like, what, nine years ago? Come down here, vocab. Good, I'm trying to yell it. Hey, let them deal with that. Like nine years ago, well, you get you on camera, See, bro. See, a lot of people, they try to say I was lying, man. Maybe you can uh, set the record straight. About nine years ago, my friend says, hey, these guys are coming in the middle of services, busting in there, yelling, and then dipping out. You know anything about them? He described it. I said, no, not yet. Then I looked it up, and then I knew about it. From then on, that's about nine years ago. You know what I'm talking about? GMS Columbus, right? That's me. Yeah, because I had people say I was making it up. But that never happened. Make what up? They said, you just lying on Israel. Nobody went to a church in the middle of the service and proclaimed the message. We didn't do that. Yeah, we have videos called a church on us. I wish you put them up because people try to say I was lying about it. We lost them all. Were they on live leak? Those ones? They was on YouTube first. They all got there. It's just too much noise and confusion. Hey, but for real, man, they tried to say I was lying. Oh, yeah. Was anybody in this crew back in the camp then or just you? Yeah, me and my brother in the green. He was okay. Where did you guys mainly go south and east? Huh? Like, where did you guys mainly go? We was on campus a lot. Oh, Down here. Exactly. Campus right here. All right, so, all right. Yeah, so I tried to tell people that happened and they said I was lying. No, but we used to be crazy. <laughs> well, I used to be crazy. Maybe. <laughs> Right, and so you know the video, the other video I mentioned in Schiller Park, right? Schiller Park. Where the joggers are going by, and you're saying, no, what well, happened to Nicole Simpson, been having all you white women? Jews Remember that one? Yeah, the day I got arrested? I don't know, I didn't see an arrest. I don't know, we used to go to You were in Schiller, Schiller Park, and joggers are going by, and you're saying, hey, what happened to Nicole Brown Simpson, about to happen to all y'all in the kingdom? Hey, that's true, though. Not in the kingdom, not in the kingdom, it's when the, uh, during the when all hell breaks loose, it's gonna happen. I mean, what you gonna tell you when the economy collapses? Okay. And there's no food in the stores. What's gonna happen to these women? Is that 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 a fair warning? Right. I was in, my thing was being just was people trying to say I was lying about it. We weren't lying. They, tr they try to say that, that I, no, they try to say I was lying because I told people that happened. Because people try to act like who said that? I never heard it. If he was like to tell when I lying, and I said no, nah, man. I heard about him way back in the day. From my friend. We heard about him going to the churches, and then I heard about it again out there, GMS in Phoenix. Have you seen that video with a dude going up to the 99% uh, or 99%ers? It's in Phoenix. It's kind of a famous video because they're all out there protesting. And GMS uh, Phoenix goes in there and he says, "Hey, we're not." They thought he was going to be down with them, but they weren't. Anyway, and let me read a scripture for you, bro. Right, I've been doing this since like 2009. And that's when I first heard about it. It ain't nothing we can do about it. And me, and I started this camp with his brother. He, he was the only original guy. member. We used to have a big camp. And they all fell off. They all fell off. Did you say the thing is growing in Columbus or not? Is it growing in Columbus? Like is there the, the, the word of the most high don't go out for it. No, I'm just saying like, I know G. Mr. Columbus has been here for a minute. Like, is there an IUIC out here? Is there a GSC? Yeah, they, 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 they come out here, but when they, they run from us. They literally run away from us. I mean, I'm not saying that to be uh, sound like a badass, but they run away from us. And I saw the videos of you guys on campus, too. We got the, uh, what's the one with uh, Comfy? Comfy's group. They literally, they went, yeah, they, they're all over the place. We went up to them one day, and they got in the car and peeled off and took away. Did you like to got Jesus Christ? Yeah, listen to this. Deuteronomy 30 and 1, and that shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations 
whether the Lord that God has driven to all the nations. So Israel got scattered among all the nations. That's why you see that word ethnos all through the uh, New Testament in Greek. You see that? I agree with that, man. And listen, so that's all the is. Titus is an Israelite. Timothy's an Israelite. I mean, it's easy if, if the Lord is dealing with you, you can see it. But if you can't see it, you can't see it. But you don't see how that seems really subjective. How is it subjective? What is subjective? Subjective is like where you're saying, well, I can personally experience this, but you can't. When you bend to the scriptures say that. They said they given it some to blindness. I agree with that. But what I mean by the subjective aspect is when we come to linguistics, it's no longer a subjective thing. It's an actual semantic domain. What do you mean linguists dealing with what? Like because we're dealing with language when it says Titus was a Greek. But I don't see We know that. You, but I don't see how you can tell me it means he's actually nothing in Israel. It tells you because Israel is already known that Israel like we read it we read it in the book of Maccabees. It tells you the lack of Madonians. And the Jews are brethren, they're of the stock of Abraham. And when you, if you, because you, but that, but okay. you ain't digging up uh, deep enough. Let's just go with history, that. Bro. Let's go with that. But that you don't know your Greek history. Let's go with you that. You proved to me you didn't even know the four uh, main branches of Greeks. Let's go with that. You ain't been studying it. Okay. You don't know it. Let's go with that. But does that mean that everybody who lives in Macedonia is an Israelite? No. Okay. okay so Alexander, how, how Alexander was a Macedonian. All right. Oh, the scriptures tell you that, uh, that Haman. The Edomite was a Macedonian. All right, let's just say Which case. links him up to Alexander. So then, linguistically, when you come to the word Greek, how do you know which is which? If it's referred to an ethnic Israelite. Yeah, it's, or all, it's all about Greek. context. Okay, exactly. So where is the context where you can determine, oh, this is clearly an Israelite? Easily. You, you, did, you read the scriptures and it tells you. It says that uh, there is no difference between a Jew and a Greek. All right, so watch this. So what, what does that mean, though? Hold up, what does that mean? Galatians 3.28. There's no difference between a Jew and a Greek. It's saying that all are equal at the foot of the cross if they're in Christ. There's no difference between a Jew and a Greek. That's because they're the same people. It doesn't, no, 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 it doesn't say that. That's See, what it says. Okay, okay. And it says there's no difference between them. Okay, then how is there no difference between male and female? Are they the same people? Because they're both Israelites. But it doesn't say that. Why doesn't it just say... There's no difference between slave Israelites that's and free Israelites. That's because you... Why does it say slave and free, male look, and female? When you re read, reading it words. Like reading, read, read Acts the 10th chapter. Okay. When it goes into Cornelius. People was looking at Cornelius like he was a damn heathen. It's like, why are you bringing this guy around here, right? When they look at him funny, wasn't they? Or they, the, uh, the, the Gentiles always got treated badly, didn't they? By the rest of the guys. But that's why, uh, you know, the, the spirit had to, had to be like, nah, you got, these are your brothers. You can't be looking at the Israelite foreigners. Yes, it does say that. Check this out. Let's in, get it. In Acts chapter 10, Let's get it. it doesn't get say it. that Cornelius was their brother. Yes, it does. In fact, it's the opposite. Why does Peter say, you know what ain't even lawful for me to go into your house there? Exactly. But the Lord has shown There's me. There's no rule against going into the house of another Israelite. Like I know, because he thought he was a heathen. Ah, and, see, and now he was on clean. The what, what is the corrected and said, hey, you got it all twisted. I'm actually an ethnic Israelite. The donut scriptures say that you're not supposed to be dealing with uh, the uncircumcised? You're not, not under the new covenant because that's what we dealt with in Galatians chapter 2. But peep this out. Let's read Acts 10. At Caesarea, there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion of what was known as the Italian cohort, a devout man who feared God with all his household. Uh, uh, gave all his to the people God. and prayed so you to God. Fast. You like the micro machine. Now, we just described the whole thing about Cornelius. Nothing in there says he was an Israelite. Yes, it did. Nothing. Read it. Fear it God. He feared God. Do only Israelites fear God? Yes. No. Yes. Only Israelites fear God. That's wrong. Where's the proof for that? There's many scriptures on that. So, did Uriah and Hittite fear God? I don't know, did he? Bring, bring the scripture. Yeah, he was a righteous man. Remember, he didn't even sleep with his wife when he was drunk because his voice was on a battlefield still. Only but Israelites Uriah, fear God. The Hittite but, was not an Israelite. Did Ruth the Moabitess fear God?